Hello everybody and welcome to Quick Shots. This is a presentation of HRD Specialized Canine Training and I'm Paul Martin, your host, the founder and lead trainer for HRD Specialized Canine Training. With this Quick Shot, we're going to take a look at water training. As we move out of our winter and move into the spring, it's a great time to get out on the water and start practicing and working our dogs as our water activities increase throughout the year. So, I have a question. I get a question a lot of times about how do you set up equipment? How do we train for this if we don't have a scent generator and so forth? This system was actually showed to me by Lisa Higgins and I think she learned it from Matt Zarella a couple of years ago. So this isn't my original creation, but I wanted to take a moment and share it with you. So the components of this system are a retrieving dummy, suet cages of various sizes, zip ties, carabiners, 10 pound mushroom weight, stainless steel cable, and a cable lock. All of these things can be purchased at Walmart, Lowe's, Menards, so forth. And with that, it's very easy, very quick to assemble. I start off with about 100 foot of stainless steel cable. It's the 3 16th width. With that, I pass that through the eye of the anchor. From there, I loop it back on itself and secure the end with a cable lock. So I've got a nice solid loop to tie into. From there, I can take my source and place it in a suet cage. Variable sizes for the source. What I like to do then is secure that suet cage with zip ties so that it doesn't come open while it's submerged. From there, I snap one of my carabiners into the suet cage, snap that into the cable. From there, I take the other carabiner, snap it on, the retrieving dummy and slide it in like that. From there, I'm able to submerge my source, but also be able to have a visual that I can target on for my boat operator and also to help those young dogs that are first starting out in water work. As our water work progresses, we can then relocate that sewage cage off the cable itself. When I do that, I add a couple of zip ties to my diving bell, to my um, mushroom here. Just like that. And that way I know at what depth is my odor being placed. With this, it's going. I can submerge it at five foot deep, all the way up to 20 foot. In doing so, that's going to create a wider odor cone for the dogs to have to work. Now what I do with my cable is I now hook my retrieving dummy straight into the cable. That way again, I have my center point target, but as the dog progresses, we can now completely submerge that and have our source secured, anchored in one place because we can now take this cable and tie off to the shore. So, if you have any questions about this setup, please put them down in the comment section. I will respond to those. And in closing, I would like to invite you to check out 
our monthly trainers form, and our various webinars that we offer throughout the year. Thank you and have a great day.